Welcome to my empty home tour. This is a new model that we decided to go with. It is called the Cassidy model by Phil Coger Investments. And this is the entry point. That's my little one right there. This is the Fourier. Um, guys, as soon as I entered this house, I immediately fell in love with it. Uh, when you come in, the door is right here. This is the front door. You are met with the foyer. And then to the right, there's the stairs that they will finish. And you go straight into the living room area, which has the perfect shade of gray on the walls. And I love the floors. And right here, there's kind of like a little entryway into the dining area, which is so spacious. And I absolutely love it. The double doors lead into the back and the kitchen has white cabinets, which I love. They are still in the process of finishing up, um, bringing in the appliances and the countertops and finishing up everything. But this was our second time viewing this home, guys, and it kind of gave me a little bit of a memory of my former home, which we loved dearly. And um, yeah, this is just a kitchen area. This is the food pantry. Um, it's a small one, but I think we can work with it nevertheless. So I am now standing in the living room and the cool thing about this home is that it has two different ways that you can enter the kitchen. You can go through the living room dining area or through the foyer. And this right here would be the master bedroom. It is on the first floor. And the master bath is definitely not finished. They have a lot of work to do in here, but I just wanted to show you guys that's where the shower will be. And the toilet is on its separate little area, so I love that. This would be the walk-in closet, which it doesn't look that big right now, but it is. it was pretty spacious. So the double vanity in the bathroom has white countertops, which I really like. And this is the master bedroom, again, from this angle. Um, and then the door going out. Immediately, when you make a right, uh, this is the laundry room. And the garage door is right there. This would be a powder room or the guest bathroom. It just is a half bath. So, you know, it's pretty simple, pretty small. Again, um, a lot of the... Things are not finished, so it might look a little bit odd. But I really love this feature. I was showing my son that all the cabinets are soft clothes. And right now we decided to go and tour the upstairs level. So you get out of the kitchen, there's the front door, and you make your way around. I was telling my son how cool is it that you can overview the living room right from the stairs. And if you turn the other way, you can actually overview the foyer. So I thought that was really cool, a nice, interesting feature. I love it. Going up the stairs, it does have a turn right there. And as soon as you reach the top, you are met with that statement wall right there. And there's actually two feature walls. And this is the little hallway, if you will, to the rooms. And from the stairs, you can actually look downstairs. But this is the area where the bedrooms are. I'm going to start with the one on the left. Um, this is the first bedroom, I guess you can say. And we decided that if we get the house, we are going to be giving... Allie this room so she is my four-year-old and it's a pretty basic room it is nice and spacious I really like it um, in between rooms we have a linen closet which has real wooden shelves so I appreciated that feature and the other bedroom is directly across from the first one so this would be my son's room he is a teenager and I figured this would be the best one for him and when you turn over here we have have a bathroom with double sinks it's a nice pretty spacious bathroom I actually really liked it um, it has a tub and a shower um, my son was just showing me that the tub was on a little bit on the small side but it ended up being actually a normal tub it's just that he likes you know he's getting bigger he likes a lot of space but I really did appreciate that there is a double sink vanity in this bathroom and there's a lot a nice wide walking space so we really liked that feature in the bathroom we also have um, the soft clothes cabinets so that will be really really useful
so coming out of the bathroom and making an immediate left this is the other bedroom so there's three bedroom upstairs this one is the largest one it has two windows and we decided that we were going to make this one either the guest bedroom or the home office being that we don't have a room for an office downstairs but you know there's a lot of light that comes into this room so i figure to run my online business that would be a perfect space so yeah i'm just reviewing the bedrooms just taking it all in trying to record as much footage as i can so i can show you guys um, how everything is looking i really do love this home so there's a lot of reasons why we decided to forego our ryan homes uh, house build um, there were a few things that stopped us mid-track in our journey but nevertheless we prayed about it and the same day i kid you not we were led to this neighborhood where this house is and again this house model is called the cassidy model and I just fell in love with it right away. It felt right and I knew that this was going to be our new home early on. This is the second time that we are touring it. I was showing my son, you know, some of the features um, and everything just seemed right. Um, I have so many plans for this home, so I'm really excited. Like I was saying about this little hallway area, I love these feature walls. And we're just going to go right back downstairs. As you can see, um, going downstairs, you are led to the front of the house. If you make a right, you'll be in the foyer area. And to the left is the living room. So this is the living room. And we're just trying to figure out, you know, just everything. And I have so many ideas and visions already um, I just love this room also it is so spacious for a dining room and yeah this is the view to our backyard guys it's a developing neighborhood so to the back of our home to the back of this home uh, the houses are not yet built so that's what's going on back there but if you see there um, is a beautiful view back there. Um, they laid down the hay so that the grass can grow. And that's what we were looking at. We are actually on the second floor. The house does sit relatively a little bit higher than the others. But look at the beautiful view of the mountain skies, the horizon, and then the sun sets back here. It's just such a beautiful, perfect view. We as in me and my husband, we fell in love with it. So there was no doubt in my mind that this is the place that I wanted to call home. Um, and I'm just loving it. The floors are a perfect um, design for my style, which I love the grays and whites. And yeah, I'm just looking around and doing another overview. That little opening is where the fridge will go. And then again, I made my way around. So this is the foyer, the front door. So these two doors, one of them goes to the downstairs level and the other one is a coat closet. So again, I'm going to make my way to the master bedroom just to kind of get another kind of like overview look. Because um, the whole time I'm recording, I'm also talking. So uh, it's kind of hard. I don't know if I'm showing everything. <laughs> so... I'm just trying to make sure that I cover enough. So I'm going to be doing once overs in each room. And so you guys can get a better picture. Sorry, this room is uh, dark. Coming back to this area, I was just showing my son the coat closet, which is, you know, pretty simple. Sorry, I didn't get it in the frame, but we're going to go ahead and go downstairs. Now, the downstairs area is not finished, um, so but it is above ground. So I totally love that. And it is a whole different um almost like an apartment down here because it is huge guys look at how big they even have the plumbing in the left hand side uh, for a full bathroom so this area is huge um unfortunately the house is not going to have a finished um lower living area but we are going to have to do it ourselves but that's okay because um right back here we have some french doors that lead to the backyard and here it is guys oh, look at how gorgeous oh, look at how vibrant it looks back here 
um, the house does look a lot better now that it has the grass and we've actually been living here for about six months and we are so happy there is new homes in back of us now which i will update you guys really soon but i will be making uh updated home tour videos and home decor hauls on what i'm doing to the home but here i'm just pointing out how beautiful the view is and it's so relaxing and i just love it um, these doors let a lot of light in uh, and yeah overall this lower level is so huge uh, we're still trying to plan out what we're going to do with it um, and these are the stairs that go right back upstairs to the main level so overall we are all excited and we are loving our new house um, but yeah we come up and this is the front door to the left and of course the living room, the stairs, and I just can't get enough of it, guys. I kept on walking around just <laughs> recording more because I didn't want to miss a thing. And I really love it. Um, it. It is everything. And we, as in my husband and I, we feel so blessed that we actually got this home. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed the empty house tour that is now our home. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you're curious, this is the Cassidy model. I'll be updating you guys very soon with new videos. So until next time, thanks for watching.